All right, I'm gonna come at you guys with just a quick little short video here. And what it's gonna be on is a different way to purify water, more of a chemical method, okay? And there is a couple options. All right, I have three different vials here and they all offer potable water. And what I'm gonna go over here is iodine, 2% tincture, bleach, and I have some tablets here, iodine tablets, okay? And what we're gonna do is go over how much it takes to purify water using one liter, okay, or 32 ounces. All right, that is a simple um, canteen, 32 ounce canteen. Metal, plastic, doesn't matter. Obviously, I prefer metal. And 32 ounces is uh, your standard, okay? You get a one liter bottle of water at the store, that's 32 ounces, okay? So you just, sometimes you might not have um, the knowledge of how much your container holds at the time you need to know. But if you just kind of visualize what one liter looks like in a container that you're used to buying, you know like one liter of soda or a two liter soda bottle. So then you have an idea, okay, well half of that is one liter. So what you need to do is first, you know, decipher that, okay? Here's one liter. So we're going to go by this right here, all right? Now, the first thing we'll go over is something that you can just get at the store that's actually made for this, and that is iodine tablets, okay? This is all sealed up nice. They're just brown little tablets, okay? They smell like iodine, okay? They're brown like iodine, but they're in a tablet form, okay? What you do is you take two of these, and you would put them in your water bottle, all right? So you say I have this full of water, which I do not, because this is just gonna be a demonstration. I'm gonna take my mouse spreader off so it's not in our way. Okay, so what we do, say this is full of water, we take two tablets, one, two, throw them in. We're going to loosely cap this. We actually want to have this loosely cap. It's still, it's holding on, but water can actually seep out. Okay, the reason that we cap this loosely is when you get water from a source, and this is all you have, I showed you proper, how to properly gather water with another container pouring it in here so you don't get it on the mouth of this rim. Okay, we're not boiling here, so that means that all the water that's on this rim is still going to be contaminated. So we want to cap this loosely, we're going to shake it, okay, we're going to shake it good. And we're going to wait five minutes and we're going to shake it again, okay. After five minutes, we shake it up, let some of that seepage get out on the lips and on the threads of this right here, and that'll take care of the water around the rim so you don't get contaminated with crypto or giardia um, by just simply you know, drinking this and touching your lips to the rim of your bottle. So then after you do that and you get your, your rim good and soaked in that, remember five minutes, shake it up again, then you tighten her down, give it a good shake, set it down, wait 30 minutes, okay? And you've got some water that you can drink. And the good thing about doing that is if you are in a survival situation and time is of the factor and you have to keep moving, say you come across a water source and that water source is definitely not good to drink, okay? It's not coming from a spring, it's not from a water vine, it's not rainwater in a bromeliad or a pocket somewhere. It's pond water with scum, bugs and stuff in it, or a dirty river. Then you can just simply grab some water, put some tablets in, shake it up, and go, okay? That's, that's the reason that the military uses it and uh, the reason that you would carry them on you going out into the middle of the wilderness because then you have the ability to just keep moving okay and that's why those are good things to carry with you if you had to boil water then you would have to wait until you start that fire if you can even start a fire have a lighter or anything and then you'd have to boil that water wait however long it takes to do so and then you'd by the time you leave there you're running low on time, daylight, whatever, to get to the destination you wanted to go or whatever the case may be, okay? So that's the reason that this is a good method to, to use, okay? Now, let's go, we'll stick to the iodine first. We have our 2% tincture of iodine, okay? Think the same as the tablets, okay? Two drops per one liter, okay? Purify water. And there's a rule here 
when it comes to this stuff, if the water's really dirty and you're just not sure, put a couple extra drops in. It's not going to hurt you, okay? Just, just give it a little extra. Shake it up, same thing. Shake, five minutes. A good thing with this is it's a, it's a liquid, so it'll actually get in there quicker. Shake it up, five minutes, and loosen that seal. Let it get on the seal. Tuck it, 30 minutes, okay? Now, the benefit of having a 2% tincture of iodine is now you also have a topical me medicine, okay? You get a cut, anything. If you're in Florida where it's humid and there's a lot of nastiness running around, you're in the swamp where it's dirty, okay? This would come in handy. You get a cut out there and you're lost, you know, you're asking for problems. You know, it's not, it's not that easy to keep it from getting infected, okay? You'll have to bandage it up somehow. And if you did have to use this, you would put this on that wound, clean it up, clean it up real good, and then rip part of your shirt or your head wrap, whatever you got, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to bandage that thing up with this iodine on it to keep it clean, okay, and just keep cleaning it. So that's the advantage of having a 2% tincture of iodine, all right? So now let's go over our last method here. This is bleach, okay, and I carry bleach more so than I would even iodine, okay? It's not bad to carry either one, but let's talk about what bleach can offer. You can do so much with bleach. Um, you can clean wounds as well with this and uh, disinfect, and it, uh, you know, it'll clean up after a dead body. Bleach can do a lot, okay? And it'll also purify your water. It purifies your water at home. If you have tap water, they put chlorine bleach in it, okay? Now, for one liter, we're looking at a you know a one percent strength here. You would take ten drops, okay? And you know with the tincture, it comes like in a bottle like so, where you can take and where you can take it drop by drop, okay? Tinctures are like this. It has a little drip drop tool on it. One drop, one drop. You literally just take this, and it has a little drop on the end. And eventually it'll fall off, but you just take it, touch the top of your lid, and it'll fall in, okay? Two drops all you need, or four if you're unsure. With this, on this bottle, you can get a squeeze top, or what you do, you don't want to pour it out of this because it'll just run down your bottle and get all over the place. You want to just pour some in the cap like this, and then you take it and you let it run right on the edge of that cap and count your drops. One, two three okay and so on that's what you're looking to do you want to just fill that cap up okay and use that to drip it out okay you don't want to go dumping it all over you want to count your drops it's another one of them things where just put plenty in you could put a tablespoon of this in your water and drink it and you'll be fine it's going to be really strong if you do that but if you're unsure it's better to be safe than sorry okay it's better to have a little chlorine breath than be running around the woods shooting diarrhea all over okay and eventually probably dying if you don't have any other water source or any source to get out of there so that's bleach right there now I want to mention something with bleach and I'm gonna take you on a little walk here okay we're gonna go on a little walk I want you to look right here. All that green you see in front of you right there, I want you to guess what that is. That's all poison ivy. Every leaf you see on that ground right there is poison ivy. Okay? Don't believe me? Well, let's just look right here. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. Let's go up in this thick stuff I just showed you. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. Okay? Poison ivy. Poison ivy. You come to the Appalachians and you wear shorts and no shoes, you're asking to get poison ivy. There's no way of not stepping on this stuff. Okay? That's why you always see me in pants when I'm in Florida or Tennessee. Michigan's pretty much just as bad. Okay? All these places are loaded with poison ivy. Now, you have your remedies. You can mix plantain and you can do uh, jewel weed. You know, I showed you that in a video. You can prevent poison ivy by rubbing that on you, but what if what if it's not around? I haven't seen any jewel weed out here, so I don't have jewel weed. Well, 
if I have my bleach on me. Okay, you know, and I'm sitting by poison ivy right now, there's like some touching me, but I don't get it as bad as I used to. But here's the thing with bleach, okay? If you ever start breaking out in poison ivy, this will get rid of it in one application. I promise you that, okay? I was, when I cut down that Osage orange tree, I had to cut through poison ivy, and it just shot all over this side of my neck, okay? All the sawdust from the chainsaw went right here, okay? And I had poison ivy all over right here. And I went home, took some bleach, because I was told this by a, uh, a Mexican, actually. He, uh, he knows a lot of secrets and taught me some wild edibles and things. And he, uh, he's pretty knowledgeable with some things. And he's, he told me to use bleach. I thought he's crazy. Well, I went home and I used some bleach. He said, mix it with water. You get a rag wet with water. Wet yourself down. Because you don't want to you know, saturate yourself with this. It's not good for your skin. Um, but a little bit's not going to hurt you. Get some on a rag. And you take and wipe that area down. Okay, now here's the here's the catch. It's gonna burn and it's gonna burn really, really bad, okay? But it's gonna kill that poison ivy immediately. Okay? Once you wipe that down, wipe it real good, okay? You know, get enough bleach on there where it can it can uh, do its thing. And then you wipe that affected area down and then get your get yourself a new rag, wet that down, wipe yourself off, rinse it real good. It's gonna burn, it's gonna hurt really bad, okay? But after you get it rinsed off, it's going to sting for a minute and it'll slowly settle back down. But the next day, it's going to be dried up, okay? You're going to have a bunch of dry patches there, okay? I've done it. My skin's fine. Obviously, my neck is okay. If you don't overdo it, you'll be fine. But that's the advantage of having bleach. Not only does it purify water and help disinfect things, um, it also gets rid of poison ivy, okay? And if you're in a survival situation and you got poison ivy all over you, you're going to be miserable. That is a mental weight on you, okay? You're going to be so miserable from itching and burning, If you, especially if you get it all over yourself. If you're affected by it like some people are, then, I mean, you might as well curl up in a ball because it's going gonna, it's gonna to mentally test you, okay? But if you had some bleach on you, you can wash yourself in this. He used to actually, you know, he was uh, cutting trees down, and this is how he learned this trick. And he said he would go home and take a shower and actually wash his whole body, get the rags saturated with bleach and water, and he would wipe his whole body down, never get poison ivy, and he was crawling all through it and cutting it and everything. Once you cut into it, that's when you're really going to get covered. And I know he's telling the truth now because I've done it myself more than once, and it works, okay? There's things you can buy and all that, but why not carry something that offers you multiple, at least, it offers you at least three things. Disinfects wounds, disinfects water, and gets rid of poison ivy. To me, that's a winner in my book. So, there's a video just showing you the differences and the methods of purifying water with different uh, chemicals. Iodine tablets, two tablets, five minutes, get the seal wet, 30 minutes, and then it's good. Same thing as the tincture, two drops, same process. This. 10 drops, okay, 10 drops or a little bit more, and you're good to go to drink some water, okay, and there's a lot of bleach in this little vial here, you can get these at stores, health food stores, and fill one up and carry it with you, the nice dark bottle helps keep everything uh, up here, and it seals it up good, it's got a rubber seal in it, so you're not going to leak it all over your bag and smell like a big uh, bleach bag walking down, the, walking down the trails or anything, so go ahead and... Uh, Try it out. Give it a test. Purify some water with it. Uh, you ever get poison ivy? Right here's your remedy. I want you to try it if you feel um, you get it real bad. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.